Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a handful of groundbreaking new features that will likely be making their way into GTA 6 that have been rumored to us by a number of insider sources over at Rockstar. Now in every new generation of the GTA series, Rockstar likes to introduce a handful of groundbreaking new features that have never been seen before in a video game. And GTA 6 is no different to that, in fact the stakes for GTA 6 are higher than ever. So Rockstar has a handful of really awesome mechanics in mind for GTA 6, and I want to discuss a handful in today's video, including a really awesome hurricane weather mechanic, which sounds absolutely incredible. Now before we get into all of that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to share your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day, and right after that, went to the actual video. So today's shoutout of the day goes to a really awesome website known as Bluehost. Now Bluehost provides all sorts of web hosting services for any type of project that you have in mind, whether you're building a website, starting your own Minecraft server, or anything in between. Their hosting solutions are reliable, affordable, and easy to manage with the beautiful online portal that they provide. You can create your own website for only $2.95 using Bluehost, and if you use the link in the description down below, you can get yourself 50% off select services. Not to mention, Bluehost was picked as 2021's PC Magazine Editor's choice for web hosting. If you're looking to start your own website or are looking for hosting services in general, do not look any further than Bluehost, so make sure to click the first link in the description down below to go ahead and check them out and see all of the incredible products that they do offer. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, ever since the announcement from a couple of days ago from Rockstar that they are working on GTA 6, the rumor mill has been spinning faster than ever. As we discussed in yesterday's video, a number of Rockstar employees went public on Twitter and actually commented about the release of GTA 6 and how excited they are to be working on the game, and on top of that we also did receive a number of key pieces of information that a number of really big mechanics will likely be added into the game that we have never seen before in a Rockstar title, especially in the GTA series. Now, as I mentioned earlier, every single GTA game has a new type of mechanic that Rockstar likes to showcase. For example, GTA 5 contained a number, but the one that probably comes to mind first is the unique three character play system in single player, where you're able to switch between Michael, Trevor, and Franklin completely seamlessly via the character switch system. This has never been seen before in any type of game, and to my knowledge, no other game to this day has been able to implement a system as smooth as what we've seen in GTA 5. So Rockstar definitely introduced a number of really awesome mechanics in the game, however that will also be continuing into GTA 6, and I'd like to discuss the first mechanic that has been leaked, which allegedly is an advanced weather system specifically to do with hurricanes. Now as we all know by now, GTA 6 is likely taking place in Miami, Florida, and if you know anything about the weather in Miami, Florida, they get hurricanes during the summertime, and in fact it is called hurricane season in Florida. Now the weather system in GTA 5 is actually quite okay, however it certainly was a downgrade compared to GTA 4. For example, in GTA 4, when it started raining, a lot of the NPCs in the game would either try to pull out an umbrella, and if they didn't have an umbrella, they would try to run to the nearest point of cover so they weren't getting rained on by all of the water coming down. In GTA 5, virtually none of these mechanics exist, and even driving in the rain does make a very slight difference, but it is nowhere near as realistic as it was with GTA 4. So unlike GTA 5, Rockstar is allegedly trying to make a big comeback with weather in GTA 6, and this is going to take part in multiple different ways. The big thing overarching this is the new advanced weather system. 
The new advanced weather system will be a system that will be as realistic to real life as possible with forecasting that is based on real life events that happen in Florida. And more importantly, all of the mechanics in the game will be adjusted slightly depending on the weather. So whether it is raining lightly, raining heavily, or if it is a full blown hurricane. Now one thing in terms of the weather in GTA 5 and even in GTA 4 and really any other GTA game is the existence of wind. Wind in GTA 5 does not really exist, it does not have a mechanic in the game, and of course winds are a big part of hurricanes. Rain and wind is pretty much the two big characteristics of any type of hurricane, and allegedly Rockstar will be making a ton of effort to make any type of wind, whether it is a light wind on an everyday basis, or if it is a hurricane type wind, as realistic as possible. So things like seeing trees move, leaves fall, branches break, things like that, all type of realistic effects that you can see depending on the scale of wind will all allegedly be in GTA 6. In addition to that, Rockstar is also allegedly making major strides in terms of the mechanics when it comes to driving in GTA 6. For example, right now in GTA 5, if you drive over a puddle, it makes absolutely no difference to the handling of your vehicle. Now, of course, in real life, that certainly is not the case because if you go over a major puddle, your handling is certainly decreased for that short amount of time. Allegedly, Rockstar will be implementing some type of system like this into GTA 6 to allow for more realistic driving and handling, which will also add a new element to races because you also need to be looking at the road and trying to avoid large bodies of water that may fill up. So the weather system in GTA 6 is almost certainly going to be getting a major upgrade, but another thing that we will allegedly be seeing for the very first time in any GTA game is going to be a female protagonist for the first time in the GTA series. Now I've played all sorts of really awesome story games from all sorts of developers and some of my most favorite games ever actually have female protagonists. So I think adding a female for the first time in the GTA series will certainly be very interesting. We had a couple main female characters in GTA 5 and I really enjoyed playing with them, but I think adding one as a protagonist is going to be super interesting. Now it's worth noting that the three character system that we saw in GTA 5 is allegedly not going to be coming into GTA 6, it's simply going to be one main character, so you will allegedly be playing as this female for 100% of the game, which is certainly going to be quite interesting, but honestly I'm totally open to it and hopefully you are as well. Now one more thing I do want to mention is the setting for GTA 6. Now, as we discussed earlier, GTA 6 is most likely and most definitely taking place in Vice City, which of course is Miami, Florida in real life. Now, there's been a ton of discussion on whether the game will be based in the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s, or modern day, and there's been a ton of discussion, but based on the recent information that we did here, it seems like that Rockstar has decided to go with a modern day setting. Now this, in my opinion, is not surprising. Compared to GTA 5, they do want to piggyback off of the success of that game. And as we all know, GTA 5 is of course based in modern day Los Angeles. So quite honestly, it isn't too surprising to me that GTA 6 will be based in modern day Miami, but honestly, I think it is a very good choice and that makes me look forward to GTA 6 a ton more because when I first heard the 80s rumors, I thought it was cool, but what I really want is a continuation of GTA 5 in a modern day setting and that seems like exactly what we will be getting, which is some really, really good news. So those are three mechanical updates for GTA 6 that we have found out about quite recently. So just to go over them again, we have the new and improved advanced weather system, we have the new female protagonist, and then finally we have alleged confirmation that GTA 6 will be taking place in a modern setting of Vice City, which of course is Miami, Florida in real life. 
So those are all some really exciting things to look forward to. And of course, as we continue to learn more information, I will make sure to keep you guys updated with the latest, but I wanna hear from you guys in those comments down below. What are some mechanics that you think in GTA 5 are struggling quite a bit and can be massively improved in GTA 6? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in those comments down below because I really wanna hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on the latest GTA 6 news, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below with those bell notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.